Today, I'm gonna to be going over how to develop a powerful value proposition so you can connect with more clients, close more sales, and build your business a lot faster. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Hustle and Hard. It's just me today. I'm gonna to be uh, touching on a topic that I, I trained my agents on, my team, the other day, and it was um, it was based off of a question that I got from one of my teammates during our meeting, and it's, you know, she's a newer agent on our team and newer to the business as well, and she said, hey, a lot of times I'm, you know, trying to meet with clients or trying to book appointments, and I feel like I'm not able to show them my value, right? Or they're not able to see me as valuable enough, maybe because I don't have enough experience or I'm saying the wrong thing. So that sparked me to want to do a training on how to communicate your value proposition, regardless if you're brand new to the business or really experienced. If you want to convert more sales at a higher level, if you want to connect with clients at a deeper level, if if you want to, you know, build your business a lot faster, you have to be really good at communicating what your value is to a specific type of client. So I want to kind of break down down what I went over in my training. And let's start off with like talking about value proposition and what is a value proposition. So value proposition is basically a statement or an idea of why a client would choose to work with you. And a value proposition is usually going to be based around a specific problem or a specific goal that a client has. So like in real estate, for example, let's say you're working with a buyer. That buyer's goal is to, you know, nine times out of 10 is to buy a home, to find the right property, make sure it's within their budget, make sure it's within their time frame, and also make sure it's as smooth a process as possible, right? Like they don't want a nightmare transaction. So when you're communicating to people on why they should work with you and you're developing this value proposition, you gotta think from the client's perspective, right? And then you gotta start thinking like, what is my value? So if you were to like pick this apart and really strategize and write this down, you can really pinpoint for hey, for a buyer, like this is the value that the buyer would want to see. This is what I bring to the table. This is the problems that buyer may face. And then you can start to develop a game plan of how you present yourself, what you say in the conversations, maybe what you show them in their presentations. And you can develop this value proposition to any buyer that meets with you. Same thing if it's a seller, right? What is What are the, some of the challenges that sellers face? So if we think from a seller's perspective, you know, sellers, you know, they want to sell their home fast. A lot of times they want top dollar. They want, you know, a smooth process. They want, they don't want to deal with the hassles of, you know, open houses and all those things. So when you break it down like that, you can start to think like, well, what would be valuable to a seller and how can I be the person that provides those solutions? So as you start to, you know, build your business, you have to think of those things and take those in consideration so that you can be more effective. Now, the key, there's some couple keys to like creating a powerful value proposition. And just looking at my notes here, um, number one is going to be you need to ask the right questions to really understand the client's needs. So, for example, like if I were to meet with a seller, someone who's lived in their home for many years and they're looking to sell, maybe to move out of, out of state or to retire, that particular client is going to have a certain set of needs than a different type of seller who's maybe in a different situation or selling for a different reason. So for me to be really effective, I must always, in my sales presentation, I must always ask the question like, hey, what's important to you, Mr. Seller? Hey, why is it that you are selling? What is the goal that you're trying to accomplish? What are some of the challenges that we may face going forward? So by asking the right questions and really peeling back the onion and going deep, then I can start thinking in my mind, okay, well, these are the services that I offer that can solve those problems that you have or that can you know, meet those goals that you have, right? So that's one thing, right, is ask the right questions. Another thing is you must like really listen to what they're saying. And this is a problem that I see a lot of like amateur salespeople run into is they have their own like script or their own sales pitch in their head already and they just start spitting it out without really understanding what the client needs, right? So if I just start saying all these things and talking about why, I, why I'm so great and why you should work with me and how I'm gonna do all these things, but none of those things match the problem that that seller may face or match, you know, or our solutions to any of their problems, then there's going to be a disconnect, right? So for me to be more effective with clients and show more value in their mind, I need to first find out what their problem is. And then I need to adjust my script or adjust my presentation to focus on those key areas that are important to that seller. 
sometimes we think like a lot of agents think like, okay, marketing and track record is really important. Even though those things are important as a whole, it may not be important to every seller. Sometimes the seller just wants to feel comfortable with the agent that they work they work with. Sometimes maybe they're worried about, some agents think, well, the seller's maybe just worried about commission and maybe the seller isn't worried about commission. They're just more worried about making sure you can deliver on their prompt, on the promise that you made them, making sure you can accomplish the goal, making sure you can sell for the highest price and they would pay you a higher commission if you did so. But without asking those questions, you're never gonna be able to adjust your pitch and really like meet the client at where they're at. So you have to always come, come with like a customized approach. You have to also use language that's relatable, right? So make sure like you're presenting your information in a way that that particular client is gonna understand. If you use all kinds of complex like real estate, you know, lingo and jargon, and it's way over the client's head, well then you're gonna like have a disconnect there as well. So making sure like you assess who you're working with and then adapt like how you're communicating to people, right? Sometimes I gotta keep it real simple for some of my old school clients, right? Or my elderly clients who maybe, you know, can't catch on so fast or they don't understand the complex stuff. Or maybe if I have clients who speak another language, I might need to simplify it a lot more. If I have clients who are maybe engineer types or really into data and stuff, maybe I need to like step my game up and I need to talk about the metrics and the data and the charts and the graphs and do all those things and talk more, you know, higher level conversation. So you gotta, you know, tweak your approach and, and customize it. Another thing that you're gonna wanna do is develop like a clear value proposition statement. So think of it like as an elevator pitch, right? Like if you were to, bump it to someone in an elevator and they're like, hey, nice to meet you, what do you do? Do you have like a general statement that you can say that describes exactly what you do, right? You always wanna have one of those, you know, in your back pocket so that if you're ever in a situation, you can just say, hey, you know, I'm a real estate agent, I serve this area, this is what I do, this is what makes me different. You know, these are some of the key things that, you know, why clients choose me and that's gonna you know, help you, know, you be more effective and quickly like, show value to a client so that you can move forward to the next step in the process. Also, when you're saying stuff or when you're presenting to clients, whether you're meeting them in person, it's a consultation, whatever it might be, it's one thing to just say things, but you also wanna back it up with proof, right? So if you have like a reviews from past clients, if you have stories that you can share, if you have some context that really supports your value proposition, it's gonna make it a lot uh, more effective. Right, so it's not just saying, hey, I'm great, work with me. Well, let me tell you why I'm great or let me show you why I'm great or hey, check out my reviews that I have online and that's ultimately gonna make me more effective. You know, and the last little tip that I can give you like to develop like a really powerful value proposition is gonna be, you gotta practice this stuff, right? Like this is higher level stuff, right? It's, you know, if you wanna be more effective, you wanna convert clients at a higher level, you wanna sit down and win more sales, you actually gotta practice this so that it comes off confidently. Right, like it's gonna take some time. You know, me doing this for 20 years now, um, it's something that I've practiced over and over. And as I've done more consultations, met more clients, and had more sales, I'm getting better and better every time. We also do a lot of role play here in the office as well, where we're role playing different scenarios. We do a lot of phone prospecting, so that's a lot of practice as well, right? So the more that you do it, the better you're gonna sound, the more confident you're gonna sound, and that confidence will relay over to that client, and that client's gonna believe you a lot more. So I wanna leave you guys with this. Um, if you really wanna take your sales to the next level, really understanding that there has to be a value proposition is important. And it's going like through the steps that I just outlined that's gonna help you show your value. So for like that agent that I talked about on my team who was newer and said, hey, you know, I'm still unsure of how to show how I'm valuable. Like this is the framework that we walked through. This is what we trained on. And now she has to go back and practice this stuff, right? And when you have this formula or this framework or this understanding that it's ask the right questions, figure out what the client needs, and then tailor your approach to solve you know, those problems or concerns, that's how you'll be a lot more effective. That's how you'll be a lot more valuable for your clients. And ultimately that's how you're gonna win more sales and build your business a lot faster. Right, so I hope this information sat well with you today. I hope you got some nuggets from this. If you guys need anything, if you ever wanna do a free coaching call, if you ever wanna see what it'd be like to partner with me, feel free to reach out on any of the platforms that you see this on, and I look forward to hearing from you. Talk soon.